First, you will learn exactly what living food even means. Then you will learn three truths about packaged food. Three truths that no food company, no food manufacturer ever wants you to find out. Three truths that are hidden from you, that were never taught to you in your school, in your university or in your entire education system. Then you will learn about the red, green and yellow lists. Are all packaged foods equally bad or are there some that are actually okay to consume? Then we will move on to the solution, the practical swaps, things you can change in your kitchen from today to reach your ultimate health faster. And lastly, you will learn another law of habit formation, which is to redesign your environment so that without much effort, you can start eating healthier. Let's move on to our first topic for the day. What is living food really? Simply put, living food is food that has life, that has prana within it. And because it has life, it can also create new life. To understand this better, here's an example. Imagine that you take an apple slice and you bury it in the soil. After a few days, what will happen? Come on, think. Easy, a sapling will come out of it. But if you take some packaged chips or chocolate or cookies or biscuit, will a sapling ever come out of it? No, because the apple is living. Whereas the chips, the chocolate, the biscuit is dead. It has no life energy inside it. And therefore, it also cannot give more life. So living foods are those foods that are as close to their original, natural form as possible. This includes fruits, veggies, grains, nuts and seeds, sprouts, coconut. Basically, it is as it is given by Mother Nature. There are three markers to know if something is living or dead. The first marker is that if it's come from a farm straight to you, it's living. However, if it comes to you from a factory, it is most likely dead. So what are some things lying in your kitchen right now which have come from a factory? Ketchup? That packet of biscuits? Or that packet of noodles? Do you ever see biscuits hanging off a tree? No! What an absurd question! Because they have been manufactured in a factory. They have been highly processed in a factory. They're not coming directly from nature. So that's the first marker. Let's move on to our second marker to identify living food. Living food eventually rots. You may be thinking, this is a bad thing. But no, actually, food that eventually rots is great. Food that eventually rots is real food. Why? Because only that which has life can rot. Take the example of a banana. If you keep a banana on your kitchen counter for a few days, what will happen? After a few days, it will get black in color. It will go soggy. It may even develop some molds. But if you keep a packet of biscuits, and if, even if you keep it open on your kitchen counter for a couple of days, what will happen? Yes, it may get a little soft and soggy, but Nothing much will change in comparison to the banana. Why? Because that banana has life. So it attracts moles, it attracts small bacteria. But that packet of biscuits doesn't have life. And even the microorganisms know there's nothing left eating in it. So they don't go towards that packaged food. And finally, the third way to identify living food. Living foods don't need any TV commercials. Have you ever seen a TV commercial for broccoli or coconut or papaya? No, because Mother Nature doesn't need to advertise her abundance. Whatever you see TV commercials for is most probably processed food. Bolne ka matlab, kuch bhi aisa mat khaye jiska TV pe ad aata. So, if these are living foods, what do you think are on the total opposite spectrum? Those foods which come to you in packets, bottles, tins or cans. Those items that are highly processed. So come, let's move on to our second topic in today's roadmap. The three truths about packaged food that the food industry never wants you to know. The first truth, what they are selling you is dead. These products lined up on the supermarket shelves which are sold to us in the name of food they have no life energy remaining inside them. To understand this better, let's read a verse from the Bhagavad Gita. So, in chapter 17, verse 
8, 9 and 10. Lord Krishna talks a lot about Sattvic, Rajasik and Tamasic Pool. And we will be reading one of the verses. Verse 10 of chapter 17. Yatayamam gatrasam puti parishitam chayata uchistam apichamethyam bhojanam tamasapriyam What does this mean? This translates to food cooked more than three hours before being eaten, which is tasteless, stale, putrid, decomposed and unclean, is liked by people in the mode of ignorance, which is the mode of tamas. That is why in our Indian traditional culture, you would see everything used to come straight from the stove to the plate, right? In our ancient culture, everyone was automatically following this three hour rule. But nowadays, what are people doing? They cook food, keep it in the fridge, take out a little every day and keep it back. They're eating stale, basi food. If you're eating food that was cooked and stored long ago and you're doing it day after day, day after day, you're basically inviting cancer into your body. My question to you is, why is it that we apply this rule of not eating stale food to only sabzi or food that we cook at home. What about all this and this? Can you even imagine how long back these foods were cooked? Forget three hours, forget three days. Many of them were cooked maybe even three years in advance. And they have been sitting in packets, bottled tins and cartons and boxes since then. So items like these are basically dead. The stuff inside them died years ago. So the opposite of living foods are dead foods. And this includes all that stuff which is packaged. So it includes your namkeen bhujia, khatta, meetha, chai wale biscuit, taste bhi, health bhi wali maggi, kuch meetha ho jai wali dairy milk. Those things that are cooked and then frozen. So in the market today you get frozen spring rolls, frozen pizzas, frozen nuggets, I don't know what all. Those things that are tinned, you get tinned soups and so many tinned things. Bottled, Coke, Pepsi, Dar ke aage jeete wali Mountain Dew, Taste the Thunder wali Thumbs Up or Ultra Processed. So the problem with stuff that is packaged, frozen, tinned, bottled or ultra processed is that it is no longer food. Simple. The problem is that we are not eating food anymore. We are eating food like products. Do you think it's even right to call these things food? What is food? Food is something that is grown in the ground, it is grown in the soil or on a bush or on a tree. It's something that has life energy, which has nutrition and it transfers that life energy onto us, right? But these things coming in packets, bottles, tins and boxes and cartons, laden on supermarket shelves, they're not food. These things are far from food. In reality, they are products. Products made by a company who wants to make a profit like any other business. And what do they do inside the body? This is beautifully explained in a wonderful book called The Essene Gospel of Peace. So when I had gone to Hippocrates Health Institute a couple of years ago, I was introduced to this book. And quite honestly, this is one book that brought tears into my eyes. It's a it's a beautiful, beautiful book and you can get even the uh, PDF of this book is available online. The first part of this book is just 40 pages but I want to read out to you one passage from this book that is, I found really impactful. So this book captures the teachings of Lord Jesus Christ. So when Lord Jesus Christ's disciples used to come to him asking him for help, in regards to the health, whatever Lord Jesus spoke has been captured in this book. So this book says, Kill neither men, nor beasts, nor yet the food which goes into your mouth. For if you eat living food, the same will quicken you. But if you kill your food, the dead food will kill you also. For life comes only from life and from death comes always death. 
for everything which kills your food kills your bodies also and everything which kills your bodies kills your souls also and your bodies become what your foods are even as your spirits likewise become what your thoughts are therefore eat not anything which fire or frost or water has destroyed so this passage says that kill neither men which means kill neither other people nor beasts which means animals and not even the food which you consume because if we eat living food it will quicken you it means it will give you life it will spring you up it will give you energy but if you eat dead food that dead food will kill not only our bodies but even our spirits and our thoughts so the impact of eating this ultra processed ultra synthetic food is not just limited to our bodies but also our mind and our thoughts so eat not anything which fire or frost or water has destroyed let's move on to the second truth about packaged food and that is packed food has more chemicals than you think we all know that packaged food has chemicals and preservatives added it's not new but what kind of chemicals and how many chemicals really let's find out would you like to guess the percentage of real fruit juice in a packed fruit juice come on take a guess well according to the label it has just 12% fruit concentrate you can see how they've shown 4.7% apple juice concentrate 2.7 orange juice 0.7 guava puree but my question to you is if the mixed fruit concentrate is only 12% my friends what is the remaining 88% of this packet think sugar acidity regulators stabilizers natural colors which by the way has nothing natural about it basically the rest of the 88% of this packet is a concoction of water and harmful chemicals these chemicals might increase the shelf life of the product but they decrease the shelf life of our own bodies okay now guess what percentage of tomato ketchup is actually made of real tomatoes tomato ketchup has only 24% real tomatoes what is the remaining 76% sugar acidity regulators thickening agents and preservatives now i understand how you may be feeling we have these foods every day right even my whole childhood ketchup sauce was a staple i remember i used to every day i used to eat a bhujia bread sandwich for breakfast or for my snack and it was so normal right we normalize these things so i've lived the same life i know what it what it feels like to be listening to all of this to be hearing this right now but things that we've been feeling are completely safe to consume might not just be as safe you know fssai mandates that any food manufacturer must write the first ingredient in their ingredient list that which is the highest used in the product and the last ingredient that which is the lowest used in the product so basically they mandate that the ingredients in the ingredient list of any product must be written in descending order sabse zyada jo use hua hai pehle jo sabse kam use hua hai wo last mein now i want to ask you in this product what is listed even before tomato paste sugar so my friends this bottle of ketchup that we consume so innocently is more sugar than tomatoes can you imagine that for a second and these facts you know they will never tell you in any tv commercial no tv ad will tell you the reality behind the product they'll show you actors and actresses drinking it hoping to entice you oh and by the way what do you think these actors and actresses do they consume these drinks or the products they promote never themselves they don't eat or drink what they promote no my question to you if a food industry has to make an honest ad of their product what do you think they'll show do you want to watch an honest ad well i really want to show you here it is hello in this video we'll make a refreshing and chilling cold drink in just 5 minutes 
We'll take a beaker with some solution and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Only nine teaspoons sugar. Don't you worry. This will soften your teeth and give it a bright black color. <laughs> I told you not to add sugar in it, you fool. We're making diet coke right now. Why not? Why not? We will try again. Remove this. Hmm. Diet coke. We'll have to add an artificial sweetener. Let's add aspartame. Don't you worry about aspartame. It will give you the exact same sweetness as sugar. Will reduce your immunity just a little bit. Cause a little more damage to your brain. And finally, will turn into formaldehyde in your body. Formaldehyde? The same chemical in which biology lab specimens are kept? <laughs> the sweetness is perfect, but the color looks dull. Let's add 4 methyl nimidazole. Here it is. The drink looks so tempting. Let me try. Add some fizz, dude. Fizz? Carbon dioxide. And it's ready. A soothing coolant in the summer heat. Our one and only diet. <laughs> so, what did you all think of the diet joke ad? Did you guess who the scientist was, the crazy scientist? Yes, I think you know already. All right, let us move on. So that was the second truth. Packaged food has more chemicals than you think. See, I understand that it may be difficult to quit these things. I understand that your taste buds get addicted to the taste of these products. I understand that when you pick up that packet of chips, it's really hard to leave it after you start snacking. I understand when you pick up that bar of chocolate, it's difficult to stop at just one slice. I have gone through it myself, trust me. But remember, it is not your fault that you can't stop yourself. It's not your fault that you crave another bite and then another and then another. Because the truth is, what they are selling you is engineered for addiction. And that, my friends, is the third truth that no food company wants you to know. They do million dollar researches just to get that perfect addictive taste, that perfect crunch, that perfect aftertaste. These companies try very hard to get you hooked onto their products. When they are making any product, they have one single motive. How can they get you addicted to their product? And to get you addicted, they use three ingredients in extremely high doses. Do you know what they are? Salt, sugar and fat. When you eat a bowl of cucumber by the 25th bite, what happens? You feel full? You feel bored of eating it? But when you eat the 25th bite of a packet of chips, then what happens? You feel like eating one more and more and more and more, right? Why? Because it's loaded with salt, sugar and fat. High amounts of salt, sugar and fat in anything keep you coming back to it for more and more and more. And one of the brands who even made it their tagline, no one can eat just one. When we buy a packet, we think it's very cheap, right? How much does it cost? Rupees 10? The packet may say rupees 10, but the real cost is much higher. In reality, with every purchase, these companies handcuff you. Aapko hatkadiyo mein baan deti hai, ye companies, har purchase ke saath. We get chained to come again, buy again, come again, buy again, come again, buy again, and be caught in this never-ending cycle. Now, do any of you ever wonder, why is no one stopping this? If these packed foods are really so addictive, filled with so many chemicals, how are they even allowed today in our markets? Why is no one stopping them? Did this thought come to you at all as we were going through the session today? 
Do you know that once upon a time about 90 years ago in America doctors actually used to promote cigarettes often big articles used to be published in the newspapers of doctors actually prescribing cigarettes to people smoke a fresh cigarette more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarettes these used to be the headlines in newspapers but now we know that cigarettes cause lung cancer right same way today packaged food is considered normal and safe all my life i thought it's normal to start my day with a packet of biscuits or it's normal to have a packet of noodles every other day have you also normalized processed packaged food in your life yes i'm talking to you but maybe 90 years from now someone raises their voice and says it's not normal to have this rubbish in the name of food it's not normal but why should we wait for that time why should we wait for the government to fix things for the institutes to change things to make change for our health and our betterment from today once you get up from the chair that you're currently sitting on after this session you will have two parts first wait for the system to change wait for the government to fix things wait for another research which proves that these products are cancerous for the second way take 100% self responsibility of what you put inside your bodies each day the choice is yours to make what do you choose my dearest satvik family let's move on to our next topic for today the red green and yellow list i have a question for you do you think all processed products all processed foods are nasty and bad come on think about it well there's good news not all processed foods are bad there are three lists which any food item can fall into first is the red list it contains all those processed items that have nasty ingredients and are highly processed my suggestion is to never consume them second is the yellow list now foods that fall in the yellow list are still coming from a packet but they have clean ingredients and they are minimally processed which means that there's not too much that's been done to them they are still close to their natural form and third is the green list items falling in the green list may be coming in packets or cartons or boxes but they are ingredients themselves they are not processed at all for example brown rice coming in a packet or dates coming in a box or pulses coming in a carton now come let's take a few examples which will make this a little more clear for you so i'll show you one image on screen and you have to decide which of these three lists that image that product would fall into so the first one are these sandwich cookies they are milk cream sandwich cookies and you can see the ingredients enriched flour reduced iron i can't even pronounce these things thiamine mono mono nitrate what list it's a no brainer the red list it is highly processed and it seems from the looks of it it has nasty ingredients so my suggestion would be to never consume this second you can see dates which are coming from a box but these fall under the green list here's a nut and date bar but let's read the ingredient list it has cashews apricots dates figs almonds a dash of orange oil and a pinch of cinnamon which list so if you read the ingredients all are ingredients you can easily pronounce all are ingredients well most of them are ingredients you would easily find in a kitchen nothing industrialized or highly synthetic so this falls in the yellow list because ingredients are clean ingredients even though it's a it's coming from a packet ingredients are all clean ingredients next are the salt crackers so the list of ingredients is quite long in this one which list do you think this belongs to the red list next is this jar of peanut butter and there are only two ingredients in this peanuts and rock salt which list the yellow list because even though it's processed 
the ingredients are all still absolutely clean ingredients but what about this peanut butter the item is the same but look at the ingredient list in this endless so many ingredients and many of them we can't pronounce they're not easily found in a kitchen they seem like they've come from a laboratory this falls under the red list so you see how the same product can be falling into completely different lists depending on its label depending on its ingredient list what about this box of cashews spiced cashews it has cashews chili powder oregano rock salt jaggery curry leaves caram seeds chaat masala gram flour so all ingredients are clean ingredients all ingredients are ingredients that we easily find in our kitchens so this falls under the yellow list what about this packet of bujia it has many ingredients it has gram flour vegetable oil condiments but in the end if you see it has these two ingredients called maltodextrin and acidity regulators which are not clean ingredients so this falls under the red list so even if it has few ingredients that are synthetic ingredients it would make it fall under the red list what about this rava idli pack so you can see so many ingredients which we don't usually use in our kitchens raising agent sodium bicarbonate agent silica falls under the red list what about this box of almond buckwheat cookies it has buckwheat organic sunflower seeds raisins coconut powder organic honey almond dehydrated apple rice bran oil cinnamon and vanilla so we can see all ingredients seem clean ingredients so it would fall under the yellow list i hope this gives you a little bit more clarity there are actually very few brands in the supermarket today who try to make clean products but to check if it's clean or not you have to read its ingredient list if there's an ingredient you can't pronounce be sure that it most likely belongs to the red list if it has a preservative or anything synthetic if it has many ingredients beginning from an ins it belongs to the red list if it has all those ingredients which are clean ingredients it belongs to the yellow list and it's okay to consume sometimes and in the green list you have things like nuts which may be coming in a packet but they're absolutely okay to consume i hope this makes it clear for you we discussed many examples but i also know that some of you may still have questions but what about my chivda what about this what about that right so i suggest if you have a doubt about a food item you're not sure which list which uh, which of these three lists it falls into post its photo on the ultimate health group and ask everybody what they think and i'm sure you'll get clarity one thing i must warn you you know sometimes what food companies do they hide the ingredient list in a very very small font at some corner of the back of the pack while on the front they add photos of supermodels eating that product or unrealistic product shots like cream dripping from the biscuit but don't get fooled by the company's tactics always look for the ingredient list no matter how small and read it before buying any product Okay now are you ready for a spontaneous activity as you may already know i love putting small activities for you mid session so that you can actually really bring these things into implementation hello this activity is not available to do right now since this is a free version of the ultimate health challenge however if you would like to practically learn how to lead a healthier lifestyle to pass on great eating habits to your family and practically apply this wisdom in your life through fun activities quizzes then join us for the next batch of the 21 day ultimate health challenge the link to register is in the comments